Hey guys, it's Kay there. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today is day 20 of our daily UI series and today we're creating a location tracker. So I'm going to start it off in Adobe Experience Design with this and I might need to go into something like Illustrator for this. I don't know how I'm going to design the map uh, aspect of this design yet. I was kind of thinking about that a little bit. I don't know how we're going to do that. Uh, but we're going to start off by creating the top navigation here and I'm going to grab the uh, Apple iOS kit and let's find I don't know if we need I would assume we need white text so I'm gonna grab this and then I'm also gonna try to grab that yeah I think we can do both of those All right, so let's paste that in and then since that one's on top there we go okay uh, so we're gonna take this and copy this and I'm actually gonna drag this sorry I'm gonna flip this and place it behind everything else and then let's just change it to uh, just a random color for now and then we can change this font to match the white bar up there and then I don't know why the Bluetooth is gray but I don't like that so we're gonna we're gonna change that where is the Bluetooth change that to white and let's also add the white to our swatches as well just in case we need it so I have this icon I just quickly dragged in I'm gonna put that over here and this is gonna be our back icon and let's put this 20 from the side of the page I'm also going to change the artboard to this gray color we have. And I'm going to add that to my swatches. I also had a black swatch, which is just default black. Let's copy this and change it to white. And then position that on the bottom of that. And let's try 80 height. Okay. And let's drag this out of the way for now. Let's actually position this at the top. I don't think I want any spacing there. And so I'm going to have different icons of our team members. Um, so this is going to be like a team tracking app. So I'm going to put these all right here. And I'm going to add a border of three. And let's just grab this color we're using up here. It's a decent color. Let's see how that looks. I don't know about that. Uh, we'll leave it for now. And then we're going to have the a number of members we have. So I'm just going to put three members. This could be useful for like a company tracking app if you're like tracking uh, the uh, like cars you have out or whatever. Uh, so you can keep up with where your team members are at. So let's add the highlight color on that and change our text. Let's drop this down to 10. Yeah, let's leave it like that. And then for this, I'm going to drop this down like 20. And then we're also going to have the name of our team here as well. And I'm going to change this to a black color and bump the font up to 20 or 26. 20 looks okay for now. And I'm going to drop that 20 from the top of that. And then I'm going to line this up with it. Perfect. So we're going to have an icon over here, so I'm just going to create a box for just uh, the moment here. Let's uh, put it 20 from the side, and then center all three of these up. Perfect. So that's kind of uh, where our team members are going to be displayed, and you can select each one of these. Uh, so by default, we're going to have one selected, and the other two are going to be this gray color. And our map. I'm just going to change this back to white so we can see what it looks like. Or let's do like a darker gray. So here's where our map is going to go. And uh, we're going to be like kind of pinging that, if you will. So it's going to have like a little pin. And it's going to find that person and where they're at. And you can track their movement. Uh, so we're going to use this actually as a button. So I'm going to drop this down. So we have 20 spacing on each side. So what would that be? 335. And then let's change the height on this to like 45. And I'm going to position the center and 20 spacing from the top and the bottom. Uh, one tip, by the way, if you guys hold Alt or the Option key, uh, you can see where it is on the artboard, and that's pretty cool. So I can make sure I have 20 spacing. And let's round the corners on that and change the color to white for now. So this is going to be a button where you can actually like contact the member or something. And so this is where our map is actually going to go. Um, let's put in this icon real quick. Okay, so I got our little dots, and this is going to be uh, opening a drop down so we can do different things. 
So let's position that on the right side of this box and then just go ahead and delete that. And then I'm also going to change this to the highlight color as well. For now, we still have that kind of bluish purple. Okay, I'm just going to make sure the spacing on that is where I need it to be. And let's center all three of those back up. Okay. All right, so now we're over here in Illustrator, and I did try this once, and I deleted the footage because it didn't look like a road at all. So what I've done is I've dragged in an image, and we're now we're going to be using this image and kind of like tracing it a little bit uh, so that we can actually get an accurate looking map because I just kind of started drawing lines and it looked awful. It just looked like a bunch of jumbled mess. It didn't really look like necessarily like a real map at all. So I'm just going to lower the opacity on this and then lock this layer. And uh, let's just start with the pen tool. I have a gray selected but we might need a darker color since we have something with lower opacity on right now. I'm just going to Go kind of straight and then I'm just gonna follow this the best I can and this is gonna be a stroke and we're gonna change the uh, road width with the stroke so let's try like seven yeah this is gonna need to be a darker color so we can see it let's go with this a nice bright red for now and then I'll change the color on this later on I'm also gonna play with the stroke a little bit and let's kind of round those corners off and round the ends off just in case. See how that looks. That looks a little better. And so I'm just going to kind of go through here and just add roads in where we need them. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna turn off the map layer and lock that. And I think we're just gonna export this as is with the uh, kind of end bit sticking out instead of creating a mask. I think that'll be okay. And we could probably turn this into an SVG and edit that that way. All right, so I've dragged it in quickly here. Uh, I saved this as an SVG so we can edit the colors of everything. And I'm just gonna scale this up a bit so we don't have any kind of roads showing at the end there and then I'm gonna create a rectangle and we're gonna mask this so let's remove the border on that whoops make sure it's touching all the edges and then I'm gonna grab both object mask with shape so that kinda of crops that out and if we send this to back uh, it should look like it's part of the screen which it does okay so now we need to change the colors of the uh, one of the artboard and then we need to change the colors of the uh, map as well uh, so I'm thinking about doing kind of a whitish gray with the map uh, that way the pin stands out so let's open up the uh, folder here let's go where's our mask at mask group can I expand the mask group I can okay so we had two layers and I'm kinda glad that I did the two layers because now we can easily change both sets of the line segments so let's grab all of these in layer three and what color is that that's the smaller roads so I'm gonna try white that looks good and then on the larger roads let's expand that let's change those to white and see what that looks like as well that actually doesn't look that bad. I'm actually really happy with how that came out. Okay, so let's add some drop shadows on here. Uh, possibly would make this work a little bit better. Let's bump that up to about 15 blur. So it really stands out. And I feel like this button needs to be a bit larger. So I'm going to try 55 on the height and fix that spacing. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And then this and these buttons here. 
might need some shadow as well. So let's try zero, and I think I did 15. Let's try 12. Actually, uh, I'm gonna go back to 15, and let's lower the opacity down on this to 10 so it's not so dark. I think that's what I don't like. Yeah, let's do that as well And this. And then for our circles, I'm gonna try it. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. 15 and 10. I'm gonna adjust the Y setting on those uh, down to like 10 and then let's change the blur to five. I'm gonna change the blur to zero so I can adjust this a little better. Uh, let's try two. Okay. Yeah. So I think that looks okay. I'm not too happy with it. Let's see what it looks like with it off. And then the borders change to white. Yeah. I don't know how we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna drag in the faces first before we go forward with that. All right, so I've got a folder that has just a bunch of random faces in it that I use quite often. So let's just grab some people here, put them in, and then uh, let's see. Guy with the tongue out. Uh, let's go with the bearded guy. This guy's kind of close up, so we're going to kind of find close up ones. Let's go with uh, maybe this one. Yeah, why not? Okay, so I also had the idea of what we're going to do down here as well. Um, so this is going to have like what they've been doing. So it's going to say turn left onto Jefferson Street one minute ago. And then it's also going to say notify me. So let's say this guy right here, this guy is Steve. Let's call him Steve. So Steve has been doing personal errands on the uh, company time in the company vehicle. And we don't want him to do that. So we want to make sure he's doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing. Uh, so we're going to notify uh, myself, the business owner, on what stop he makes. So that's what the notify me button will do. So just making sure Steve's doing what Steve needs to be doing. Uh, so that's kind of the idea of what we're gonna be doing here. So we're gonna have him selected. So he's gonna be in blue there. And these might need to be in gray or another color. The white kind of blends a little too much. Um, this is the kind of thing I was talking about with the shadow. Uh, it just needs a little bit. That ain't too bad. Okay, I, I kind of actually kind of like that. So that's kind of the idea. So let's select her and see what that looks like if we have multiple people selected. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so we'll just leave those white. All right, so we're tracking this guy. So we're going to have his pin somewhere on here. But let's design this down here. So I'm going to copy this. And let's make it about that big. And then let's just scale it in just a little bit. I think I'm going to leave the shadow on that uh, for now. And then let's change this to the blue. And then we'll do 10 spacing there. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. Um, notify me. All right, so let's drop that down. So let's try 10, I think we used earlier. That can also allow us to make this button quite a bit smaller, which is what I'm wanting. Let's try to bump it up to 12 might be the perfect size for this. I don't want too much blue space, I guess you'd call it white space in between uh, the text and like the button itself, like edge. Um, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, so let's add the line over here in the same size font and we'll change it to gray at the start. And it's too gray. Uh, the black, let's go from there until we get a nicer gray and then I'll swatch that. Okay, so let's do turned left onto Jefferson Street. That's what he did last, and I'm also going to do the same spacing. I think we did 10 over there. Yeah, so let's do 10 there as well. Maybe 20 actually would look better. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. And then I want the timestamp on here somewhere. I don't know where to put it, either up here or over here to the side, I think. So let's copy that, and we'll just say 1M. Okay. And then just go out possibly 10 from that. And then we'll put that in a, like a lighter gray, but that's too light, so we'll go uh, just so it's a bit lighter. 
And then I'm going to center everything up in that. I might actually put out one minute ago because the 1M looks kind of weird. Yeah, so if we do that, it can't be over here because then we're not going to have a lot of information here. So let's put this up top and then lower the size of it to like 8. I'm going to position those to the left. And then let's just center those up. Let's group them and center them up into this. And I'm going to center everything up. All right, I was looking at it, and I'm going to change one thing real quick. I'm going to put this to the bottom. We're going to center this back up inside this white rectangle. And then I'm just going to put this touching the bottom like that. And then I'm also going to bold the street name either by changing the font weight or by changing the font color as well. So I'm going to try both at first. Um, there we go. Yeah, something like that because the street name needs to be uh, in bold. So you can just right away see he's on Jefferson Street and he was been on it for at least a minute now. And uh, so we'll probably put him on this street since that looks like a pretty long street where you could be on for more than a minute. And so that's where we'll put his little dot. All right, so we're coming up on the end of this design. All we got to do is create the pin icon. Then I also need to change uh, this and this text. So let's just go ahead and change this to like, oh, actually we need to center that first. Let's just change it to uh, location tracker. If I can spell location tracker and then for the team name I don't know what I want to really do yet uh, I'll just leave it for just a second let's do the uh, pin icon so it's gonna be some kind of circle and it needs to be larger than I think we did like eight on that but that's a different scale so let's try 15 by 15 I'm gonna do the lock so we can scale this a little bit easier let's put this right on this line and then on the border let's try three and then change it to the color we've been highlighting with. If we do that, I think it needs to be a little bit larger. Something like that. And then I have seen maps that kind of have, let's remove this. They kind of have this like circle out like that so you can see it better. Let's change that to the blue and then lower the opacity down on that to like six or seven-ish, five-ish. Something like that, so we can clearly see them. Let's add a border to that. Doesn't do anything. That's not bad. Um, let's try adding the fill just of just blue, and then maybe a border of white to reverse it, kind of. No, I don't like it. Let's just leave it at blue. So I'm just gonna turn off that. So we kind of have that as our guy. He's traveling on Jefferson Street. It's not bad. All right, so for the team name, what should we do for the team name? Just employees, I guess, because <laughs> that's what I've been kind of doing this whole thing off of is they're just our employees. Yeah, uh, let's bump that down just a slight bit here. A few pixels. Actually, I don't like that. Let's just leave it. And I think that is our location tracker. All right, so here's what the final thing looks like. I actually changed the notification text down at the bottom to a black, and then I changed Jefferson Street to a blue to kind of highlight that in the similar way that we had. And then on the one minute ago, I changed that to uh, the gray that was on the notification. So it's a little bit darker uh, so we can see everything. And that's all for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video for more daily UI. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you, and the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.